So hey everybody, as always, welcome to the channel and thanks for stopping by. My name is Rich, I'm the channel host, and normally we're talking about different aspects of the drone industry and building our own small to medium-sized drone businesses. Today, I wanted to talk to you about one application called WebODM, and if you're interested in getting started in photogrammetry, I think WebODM is a great starting point. With it, you can create two-dimensional maps, three-dimensional models, and actually produce these the, to where they have a professional look to them. So it's actually pretty straightforward getting started with WebODM. And so we're going to jump into it today and help you get your feet wet once again, not only with WebODM, but with photogrammetry and what we can produce with WebODM. Also, I just want to let you know, WebODM is free. It, there is an open source version for the platform, or you can get uh, installers that they've made for automatic installation that cost a few bucks, but the prices are still much lower than a lot of the mapping and modeling packages out there. If you don't want to break the bank, if you can't break the bank right now, WebODM could be a good short-term solution. As, as you learn about it, it could be a great long-term solution for the types of work that you are doing. Now, I'm going to hop off the screen here. We're going to pull over to the main screen. I'm going to show you the WebODM website, their pricing, what's behind it. And then we're also going to talk about the downloadable versions, which is what I've used. And then we're actually going to take a really quick look at the platform. This is not a long video. It's not meant to be, but it might be able to help you get your start in photogrammetry. Oh, and by the way, we do have a course at classes.azdrone.net on WebODM specifically and getting a full start into it instead of just the short video here on YouTube. All right, everyone, let's pop over to the screen side and start talking about WebODM and talking about working with it as well. I hope you enjoy this one, folks. All right, everybody, here we are at WebODM's main page, and that's for opendronemap.org slash WebODM. Now, WebODM is an open source platform. So there's a lot of developers behind this, and they do offer a free version of WebODM, and that's for folks who are a little more technically oriented, a manual install. So you could download the manual install and install WebODM for completely free. Now, if you don't feel that you're up to the challenge with the manual install, WebODM does offer a couple of installers that are a reasonable rate compared to a lot of uh, mapping and modeling platforms out there, some of them who get into the thousands of dollars. So the standard version is a one-time purchase, uh, WebODM installer, one-year installation support, um, updates are included, and so if you're a Windows user, it is $65 for the uh, installer, and if you're a Mac user, $99 for the installer, or if you're Windows and Mac and want to use it both places, you can get their bundle for $149. Of course, you can also go for their business version, which gives you additional support, and the price is a little higher. Bottom line though, we've got some reasonable prices for this and WebODM is a great platform to learn on. So if you're interested in photogrammetry, mapping and modeling, this might be a great place to hone your skills before you start getting into those really expensive platforms. All right. So now that we've checked out the pricing on this, let's just go to the dashboard. I turned on WebODM uh, before we started this. So here's the WebODM manager. And I just keep that minimized down here. And what we're looking at is the main dashboard for WebODM. So we've got the dashboard, uh, GCP interface, Lightning Network. So you can actually get your stuff online as well instead of just on your desktop. So if you would like to actually share more, you might be interested in the Lightning Network. But we're just going with the um, desktop-based version right now. We're going to go back up to the dashboard here. So these are some completed, uh, completed flights that I've done. And I'll share with you here. We'll take a look at this one, the Solstice, October 6th. And we have already done everything on it. I know this looks a little complicated. It really isn't. But so we've already done this one and we can take a view of the map. And if we like on the right hand side, we can go ahead and just show the ortho mosaic that we generated with our flight at that location. We can also take a look around this and um, I'm just moving this 
We can zoom in on our ortho mosaic to get more of that great detail that it provides. And if we want to, let's go to the 3D version. So here we are with the point cloud in the 3D version. And we also have the textured model for a smoother model here. This takes a moment to load up. And so there we go. We can actually um, take a look around our flight areas. By the way, we do have a class over at classes.azdrone.net about WebODM, installing it, and using the tools that WebODM offers us. So if you want to check that out, once again, classes.azdrone.net. And right now we're recording this one during the holiday season. So we do have an 18 class bundle, uh, including the WebODM uh, video. So if you're interested in developing some more of your skills, uh, for mapping and modeling, doing this work for uh, custom clients, whether it's residential or commercial. We've got a lot of videos covering photogrammetry, 2D and 3D modeling and mapping as well. So you can check that out at classes.azdrone.net.